Today we are looking at dogs, our non-sporting group. So left-hand side, we're going to do the name of the breed, and then the right-hand side, we are going to do our characteristics. As always, our name, date, and session are at the top right-hand side of our notes. We have in the ID quiz resources section, we have our post on non-sporting dogs. You're going to see some really awesome links here, one for brachycephalic breed uh, fact sheets. So we love our smushed face dogs. So here's going to be some information for you about the health risks of those smushed in adorable faces. We then have our American Kennel Club non-sporting group. So there's great more deal of breeds than we're going to be talking about in this group. So there's the American Kennel Club. And then we also have an English Bulldog Rescue. So if you are interested in Bulldogs, in particular English Bulldogs, there is a rescue um, in the area that you can take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead, click on my link for Quizlet and we've got our sets to pop up. The first breed we're going to look at is our Bichon Frise. So uh, Bichon Frise, some health concerns are eye conditions. They can also develop leg calf perthes disease, hip dysplasia, luxating patellas, uh, bladder stones is what it should say, uh, various autoimmune disorders, as well as anemia. Uh, their appearance, they are long, uh, curly white hair, and we generally will keep them groomed short though. Uh, lifespan is about 15 years. Height is 9.5 inches to 11.5 inches at the withers. And remember our withers are the shoulders. The weight, an ideal weight for a Bashan is going to be 10 to 18 pounds. Again, differentiating between a male and a female. So that is our Bashan Frise. So again, you do keep that coat trimmed fairly short. If you aren't brushing it regularly, it is going to get very curly, kinky, and matted. Next dog we have is a Boston Terrier. So we often get Boston Terriers and French Bulldogs uh, confused with one another. At least I know I do. So Boston Terriers, some health concerns we have are definitely breathing difficulties because they're what we call a brachycephalic dog or they have a smushed in face. Uh, they can have hemivertebrae uh, due to the corkscrew tail, which causes paralysis. Uh, so uh, have vertebral issues. They can get cataracts, glycoma, cornea ulcers, deafness, luxating patellas. Uh, cesarean sections are required for birthing the pups, so that is something to definitely be mindful of. Uh, parents, uh, they have very short hair. They are black and white or brindle, and they've got a corkscrew tail, uh, so just a little tail nub. Uh, lifespan, about 11 to 13 years. Their height is 15 to 17 inches at the withers, and their weight is going to be 10 to 25 pounds. So they're actually not supposed to be very large, uh, large breeds. So here we have our Boston Terrier. So we have that black and white coloring, or you're going to see them in fawn. Um, very thin, right? So narrow, they have... Um, kind of a squareness going to it for their sternum, um, but very long, sleek, slender animals. Again, only 10 to 15, 25 pounds. Next, we have is a chow chow. Uh, chow chows are beautiful, uh, but definitely some good health concerns, or there are health concerns. We have hip and elbow dysplasia, patellar luxation, autoimmune thyroiditis. Uh, so they have some issues with their thyroid, uh, some eye problems, melanoma or skin cancer. Uh, they can have an autoimmune skin disease, gastric tor uh, torsion and appearance. So they have a blue black tongue. So that's one of the cool things about a chow chow. You know that your dog is mixed with a chow if it has that blue black tongue. Uh, they are light brown. They have a very long, thick coat. Uh, lifespan is about 12 to 15 years. Height is 17 to 20 inches at the withers. They are a larger breed dog medium to large, so 48 to 70 pounds. These dogs have a tendency for being known for being a little bit more aggressive, uh, so they can be uh, very protective of their owners. They may or may not be good with children. It really just depends on their training, uh, but so you will see chow chows are more on uh, possible animals of dogs with aggression. You can see that dark tongue right there as well. They are definitely beautiful.
Next, we have our bulldog, uh, specifically our English bulldog. English bulldogs have a great deal of health concerns. One is brachycephalic airway syndrome, uh, which is a very difficulty breathing because of their shortened nasal passages. They also have a great deal of allergies and skin problems because of all those wrinkles that we just adore on them. Uh, several kinds of different bladder stones that they're prone to get gastric torsion. Uh, they are susceptible to heat stroke because of the difficulty in breathing. They're not able to cool their body. Body, and so the heat makes them pant. The panting is then difficult for them to breathe, and then the breathing causes uh, heat stroke and uh, can be fatal. Uh, again, they are also another breed that cesarean sections are required for birthing pups. So that's something to think about when you see old English sheepdog or old English bulldogs that those animals did have to have surgery to undergo uh, being birthed and having puppies uh, because their heads are so large. So appearance, they have a very smooth coat. They are brindle to fawn in color. They have lots of loose skin around their face and legs. Uh, lifespan is only eight to 10 years because of just those issues with being brachycephalic, the issues with their skin. Uh, height is only 14 to 15 inches at the withers, so they're shorter, but they are definitely, definitely uh, heavy animals, so 40 to 50 pounds. So they're very muscular, very muscular dogs. So here, looks adorable and it is but all of those skin folds uh with the eyes the droopiness there's almost no place for the nose to go the tongue often sticks out so there's just uh, some different things that you have to be very mindful of when getting an old english bulldog or any brachycephalic breed Next, we have our Dalmatians. Uh, Dalmatians are beautiful. Uh, health concerns, we have allergies and skin conditions. Uh, urinary stones, congenital deafness. Uh, part of that is being associated with that coat. Uh, they do, may have some eye problems and laryngeal paralysis or laryngeal paralysis. Uh, appearance is that short coat, white with black spots, and they are very lean, so they will have um, a very tapered off abdom abdomen. Uh, their lifespan is about 10 to 13 years because they are that medium to large size breed. Height is 19 to 23 inches at the withers. Their weight is 45 to 70 pounds. Um, classically, these were our fire hydrant dogs because they would help keep the horses in check. Uh, Dalmatians are actually known for not being great with children, uh, so they are for more mature owners, um, if you will. So Dalmatians definitely other work. They're they're non-sporting, but they have a lot of energy and they can be a little bit more temperamental with children. So it's something to be to be mindful of and thinking about if you're interested in those breeds. Next we have is a standard poodle. So your standard poodle is uh, your good size, good size poodle over 15 inches at the withers. This is often what you see bred with uh, Labradoodles. Um, so your standard poodle is your largest poodle. There are numerous health concerns, one being Addison's disease and then Cushing syndrome, hypothyroidism. They have retinal atrophy. Van Wilbrin's disease. Van Wilbrin's disease is a type of um, blood disorder. They are prone to bloat because they do have a fairly barrel chest. They also can get sebaceous endonitis, hip dysplasia as well because they are taller. Uh, parents, they are low shedding curly coat. So this is what makes them so desirable. Uh, but you definitely do need to regularly groom your poodles because of that hair. It will get very natted uh, as that Bichon Frisés fur does as well. Uh, they do come in solid colors, raising from black to cream. Lifespan is about 14 to 18 years. Height, again, over 15 inches at the withers and 40 to 55 pounds. Uh, poodles are amazingly intelligent animals. You don't always see them in their show cut. So this would be considered their show cut, which is why they have the pom-poms. Uh, but by no means do you need to keep your poodle in the show cut. Um, but there it is. 
Next, we have a Chinese Sharpay. So your Sharpay are really pretty, uh, definitely wrinkly. So they have some different issues. So hip and elbow dysplasia, patella luxation, hypothyroidism. They do have a various amount of eye disorders because of that droopiness of their skin folds around their eye. Also allergies and oftentimes skin fold infections. It's very interesting too with the Sharpay with their skin, it's very thin. So in the vet clinic, if we are attempting to draw blood or if there is an incision or we have um, a bite wound that we need to do sutures with and suture up the skin and connect it back together, it oftentimes tears. It's almost think of paper mache. So it's just very thin and it has a lot of oily, greasy, sec oily secretions because of those skin folds. Uh, so it's just, it's very, once you get into the field, Sharpay skin is not your friend uh, when you're doing certain things. Appearance, they have short or long hair and wrinkled or loose skin throughout the body and small triangular ears. Lifespan is only about 10 years because of, again, those various issues that they can have. Height is 18 to 20 inches at the wither, so they are a larger dog. Uh, weight is 45 to 60 pounds. They do come in different colors as well. So this is a short haired fawn, color Sharpay. You can see all of those wrinkles there and those very short triangle, your triangular ears. Um, Sharpays can be very territorial, but also make great um, protective animals if that's what you're looking for. Or you can have long haired Sharpays as well. Um, and then we'll have just a long hair coat, kind of like a Husky, similar to that, and they'll still have uh, their wrinkles. Last uh, but not least is our French Bulldog, not to be confused with our Boston Terrier. So our French Bulldog uh, is another brachycephalic breed. So it does have that brachycephalic airway syndrome, which is that difficulty breathing. They, again, cannot tolerate excessive heat. They will have spinal malformations because of the stature. So they're short and long. They also do require cesarean sections for birthing their puppies. Uh, parents, they have very short, fine fur, large bat-like ears. So this is how you can tell them apart uh, colors ranging from white, fawn, black, patterns from brindles to different colors there. You can have black masks to white markings, corkscrew tails. So much more color variation versus the Boston. Uh, lifespan is 9 to 11 years. A height is 11 to 12 inches at the withers. And you want them to be less than 28 pounds is going to be a good healthy uh, French bulldog. So here we have our little Frenchie right there. So very stocky in comparison to the Boston Terrier and very large bat-like ears. Um, so we're very squarey. We are a bulldog, right? We have that nice square face, very muscular, uh, muscular animal right there. And those are our non-sporting breeds.